What's up, what's up, everybody? You already know, it's your boy, Freddy O. Guys, I'm here to give you, a re uh, not a report, just uh, let you know how, give you an update on how the stocks finished up today, being that we had ACB's uh, crazy earning report that came out today. Um, so this uh, uh, is gonna be titled, The Biggest Loser Challenge, um, to see, obviously, who did the worst of the day and had the craziest day, we already know who that is. Um, but here we go, guys. Let me give you the update and tell you how all the stocks are sitting. Before, make sure if you could for your boys, smash that like so more people can see this content. You know what I mean? And also, if you guys want to see these videos more often, see uh, all this, all the information I give to the world, uh, you already know. Subscribe to my channel, guys. Please help me hit that 100 subscribers, man. I'm almost there. I'm at 96. Make my dream come true. And then I'll go to Disney World, even though I live in Orlando. It's like in my backyard, you know what I mean? All right, guys. All right, anyways, let's go. Here goes the biggest loser update for the day, guys. Started with, you know it, Kronos. Right now, Kronos, guys, are sitting at $5.05. Um, and down for the entire day, 1.2%. All right, and I'm mixing something up. Instead of doing... Uh, I'm going to add market cap right now just to see how all the stocks are sitting because eventually these guys are going to merge. Um, so Kronos has a market cap of $1.86 billion. Uh, I think that's Canadian, if I'm not mistaken. All right, guys, here we go. The biggest loser of the day, ACV, guys, sitting at $6. Um, ACV, uh, down for the day, believe it or not, is down 3%. But if you remember when it popped up, it popped up like 15 something percent came boom down like a rocket like a like a cliff and uh yeah if you bought into that ouch bro um but it's down three percent for the entire day um and acb has a market cap of 826 million dollars canadian all right moving on guys we got canopy growth canopy growth is sitting at 15 dollars 79 cents right now and it's up for the day only 0.4 percent and we already know Canopy got that big uh, buttload of money. They, they're sitting on $5.96 billion Canadian, or just $6 billion Canadian, you could say, right? Moving on, guys. Let's see how Hexo's doing. Hexo's sitting at 70 and a half cents. That's seven zeros and one half cents. Um, and it's down for the day 0.5%. And Hexo has a $291.5 million Canadian market cap, okay? Uh, moving on, guys. Tilray is sitting at five dollars eleven cents today, uh, up for the day three point five percent. Wow, Tilray made some money today. Um, and Tilray has a market cap of six hundred eighty-two million Canadian. Uh, moving on, OGI Organigram. Organigram sitting at a dollar twenty, up today as well, point eight two percent, almost one percent. Uh, uh, for OGI, and they have a market cap of 231.46 million Canadian. Lastly, guys, my favorite stock and the stock I expect to hopefully do great thanks to ACB kind of doing bad, and, sh and I'll go into details about that. Um, Afria, Afria sitting at $4.43, down for the day, 0.17% for the entire day. That's including after hours. I'm doing them together, guys. And uh, right now, Afria has a market cap of $1.31 All right? So we're hanging in there. All those stats are according to Robinhood. Check it out yourself, bro. Um, uh, but guys, let's go into detail what happened, what, what I got from what I heard. You know what I mean? I was, I was in my car listening to that on the way home, uh, the little uh, the earnings report. Uh, I was, you know, I was here with my phone right here. And uh, the, uh, what, what they said about ACB, what I got. This is what I got, guys. I got um, ACB is doing okay in medical. Sorry, oh, they're doing okay in medical, but um, it seems like they're losing market share according to what they say in rec sales, recreational um, uh, cannabis. And uh, that makes sense because Afri is, we're taking, we're taking, we're taking it from everybody. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Uh, if, for the ACB guys, sorry, sorry. Understand? Stating facts, guys. Just stating facts. Um, also, you know, they went into a little bit of detail about the two billion dollar write down. Almost two billion dollars. You know what I mean? Go, you know, go, go, go. Look up exactly how much it is. I ain't got time, bro. I ain't got time. Uh, uh, what's it called? I put. A, this is a sidebar 
in my opinion, guys, I feel ACB, my opinion, is a year or two behind that for you. You know what I mean? It seems like the, from what, what I heard those guys saying, the new CEO, whatever, it seems like they're, um, they're just now realizing, okay, now let's pick up the pieces and you know what I mean? And they're, they're eventually going to be where we are, maybe in 2023. That's what I'm thinking, maybe 2020, late 2022. But Afria is just like Erwin Simon said in 2019 or early 2020, he said that everybody's behind where Afria is. And I believe that. And I think God, God willing, Afria is going to blow up uh, because we're, we're already, we're, we got the best quality and we're ahead of everybody. Come on, guys. These are all factors that are big freaking deal. Um, yeah. Uh, I put guys I'm gonna leave it like this this that's the end of my video for you guys but I got some questions for you guys my followers my subscribers you know what I mean uh, uh, here's a little question for you guys I love you guys or I, I'd love if you leave me a, a comment and let me know what you think my question one I put what you guys think this means for Afria you know what I mean give, give me your ideas guys um, I always respond uh, but do you guys think Afria is gonna go up are we gonna go down because me personally, I think we're going to go up um, because uh, we're the best. We're the kings. We have the best product. Everybody wants our product. Uh, I think that's not. Uh, hopefully people really start to turn their heads soon. I don't see why it wouldn't be happening or wouldn't happen in the future. And my second question for you guys, what you guys think now about earnings for Afria based on ACB earnings? Well, what you guys think... Um, our earnings is gonna be is it gonna is it gonna be even better thanks thanks to the fact that um ACB did bad um, do you think more people are gonna be buying in now uh, because they you know uh, are we gonna get ACB um, shareholders to jump ship right now all these things are things that that could be happening very soon um, and I'm I'm curious you know with uh, Afria's earning coming up what the heck is gonna happen and it's all looking good. You know, hopefully we got all the dirt out in that last earnings report and we can move up. And if it's like they said, I said a couple of videos ago that they're averaging 30 cents a share. Um, damn, if we could do 30 cents a share in earnings report, that'd be great. Um, I uh, Also, guys, little sidebar, I am curious to see what's going to happen to ACB tomorrow. I don't own any ACB shares, you know what I mean? Um, so I'm just watching the show and, uh, I love to see the chats, what, what people post. It makes me laugh. Um, but who knows? Are they going to go up tomorrow? Are they going to go down? Or is everybody jetting? Is that stock going to 50 cents tomorrow? Whew. I, 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 I wouldn't want to be that guy. You know what I mean? Um, but that's it guys. Thank you guys for your time. Yo, once again, guys, please smash that like if you love this video. I love to make them for you guys, man. You guys are dope. All my Afria crew, you know what I mean? Let's go, guys. We got some money coming soon. We already know your boy Freddie. Oh, no. We already know it's coming up, guys. Um, yeah. Also, guys, remember, uh, smash that subscribe if it's your first time so I can get to that 100 subscribers and become the happiest man in the world. All right? Thank you, guys, and you have the best day ever, man. Peace. Deuces.